Hey guys, it's Queen Deja. And in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 5 of Spy Classroom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, we're going right into the opening. Okay. Okay, I get it of the reason, let's, we're, we're more talking about the opening thing, with Irina being the last one, yeah, it makes the most sense on why they didn't want to show an opening, but what they could have done, they could have did it like, kind of how Persona 5 the animation did, where they had the fake opening, and then like the true opening, they could have had an opening focusing on the seven first. And then, you know, being like, oh, yeah, this is the fake one. Ha ha he he he. Um, <laughs> and then you're like, no, this is the real one. Like, mm, yes, here's all the babies all together. Yes. My bad luck, baby. Right? <laughs> no, babies, you still have pretend all. That too. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. At least give them scissors. Always do solo. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Yeah, but then also you need to figure out your you're good together as a team, but you need moments where you are solo and alone. Yeah, we do all have a lot of personalities. 
And sometimes that ain't always going to connect and work. <laughs> Bullshit. Good plan. She's so gonna fail at this. She wrote notes on her arm. I can't. Oh, don't worry. We're going to use that as blackmail, baby. <laughs> At least being like what his mid to late 20s. Right? I mean, you guys are already like a little team. Oh my god. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. No. Mm -hmm. 
That's clearly a trap. No. Huh. Poor baby. Mm hmm Yeah, she really did, and I feel bad for her. to go. You want some percussion? No, damn, right? Jesus. Oh, no! <laughs> What you gonna do? Cook for him and poison and stuff? Sure. <laughs> oh, damn. Also, hot, like, yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, Lily, let's hear this grand plan of yours, baby. And if you fail, y'all fail together. Killing them. See? <laughs> Already gone. <laughs> he 
excuse me. I was about to say, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Right? You, you have to have good ass skills. Mm. Of course, the children. Wait, no, you don't go. Cute, oh my god! Right, yeah, I mean, you've just been kind of blasting everyone around. The supervisor, the cheerleader. Girl, you need to be over here cooking too. Eat it, eat it. Great job, guys. Always one step ahead of you gals. <laughs> Definitely. So back to square one again. Me too, in a way. Kinda. Put the pretty girls together. <laughs> I need that in my life, please. Thank you.
Yeah, cheer up. I mean, you made a good meal for him. Yeah, like in the twenties. Oh, twenty. Wait, what? I'm thinking mostly I was like seventeen, and then the kids was like thirteen, maybe fourteen, twenty. Everybody's 20. But you can build a new with this family. Yeah, just don't try to seduce him again. That unfortunately is not your area. Try again. I mean, in another life, yes, you would have been the perfect girlfriend for a certain somebody that we ain't going to talk about. But right now, you are still our useless goddess and the best gymnast of P5. Oh, we got another ending ending too. Oh my God. But yeah, honestly, seeing her... <laughs> and dreamscape be like yes we're gonna try to make you learn how to seduce like i already knew that ish was gonna backfire with lily because that's not her thing she's not the greatest at like seduction and such so <laughs> it was just cute it's literally she gave me the kasumi vibes of how her voice actress um did for p5 and how when you confess to her in the game and she freaks out like she, she's so cute like that it's so fucking adorable even though i have not romance kasumi the one who i always romance in my playthroughs is haru because best girl haru i'm sorry but it's so fucking cute like when i saw it the first time i like fangirl i was like oh my god i was like yeah in a way kasumi is like me because like yes i i mean I am a, I'm, I'm still shy, but at the same time, I still know what I want and how I want my seduction and how I do my seduction and such. But yes, even me, at the age I am, I can still be shy as fuck. <laughs> but until, like, you know, don't, mm, how should I wear this? Cause like my ex, <laughs> it was so funny. So, so funny. My ex like one day, when we were just like, talking and ish and everything he had asked me he was like oh hey how do you feel about horror movies and i was like oh i love them and he he was like oh and i i looked at him and i was like oh my god wait wait, wait, wait. i was like you you wanted me to be i was like you wanted to go this way and i was like you want to like wear if we were watching a movie together and if I like if, if a scary scene pops up you want me to be scared and such I was like oh I can still do that I, I can still do that I can pretend to be scared I love getting scared during horror movies I think it's the best thing ever it like even if I go into a haunted house <laughs> during Halloween horror nights and everything I will literally pretend to be scared and it's the funniest thing ever but whoever I am with guy wise and such in the future my future boyfriend husband whoever I, I will literally tell them the same thing i'm like yes babe i love the shit out of horror movies but if you ever want that you know that boost your ego moment and such yes go ahead you know i'll let you boost your own freaking ego i'll do it for you shit like i like, will pretend to be scared and cuddle up to you and such and you know like have my arm between your boobs and ish and be like yes i'm so scared oh my god <laughs> but <laughs> Oh, lovely, our baby Lily. 
she tried, and uh, unfortunately, she miserably failed. Even with the plan of, like, just, like, we're going to scope out, we're going to watch him, his day, and we're going to figure out what he doesn't eat. In the end, you gave him a good-ass meal, and he enjoyed it. <laughs> but my biggest thing is, the shock is that all of them are, like, around 20. They're all the same age. Like I said, I was expecting majority of half of the girls being at least 15, 16, 17, 18, and then the younger ones being, like, at least 13, 14, maybe 15. And then when they, when Aaron was like, yeah, he's 20. And they're like, oh, yeah, around our age. But, like, wait, how old is y'all? <laughs> I'm thinking y'all kids. <laughs> Majority, y'all. But still, I mean, like, oh, but it was a sweet episode. I mean, I get it. Even when at the, the bath scene where it's like, yes, maybe we should all do our solo missions and to enhance our solo skills and such. I thought that was a really interesting idea. But at the same time, we know they're the best when they work together and such. Yes, they all do phenomenal and beautifully on their own. But when they're together, they are truly unstoppable. Yes, they fuck up sometimes. It's okay. <laughs> we still on the... I, I mean, at the beginning of the episode, we were at A for effort. I feel like we're we're still at the noobs. Yes, they're, they're still not the greatest. But take some time. You'll get there. Yeah, there might be days where you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, be like, I'm tired of this, Grandpa. And, and you know, Klaus would be like, that's too damn bad. <laughs> But you just don't give up at the end of the day. I, I feel like by the end of this, they will be, you know, maybe not as smart as Klaus and Lloyd from Spy Family. But, you know, maybe, like, okay, I'm trying to think of another, like, spy as series. Like, um, oh, my God. I don't remember the name. Or, you know, almost like Charlie Angels S. Yes. There we go. Yes. There we go. Are, are totally spies us. There you go. Yes. And that guys that is my reaction view towards episode five of spy classroom if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for episode five nope episode six my bad <laughs> bye